Hi, my name is Syed and you are watching my Digital Strategies YouTube channel. Welcome to Digital Marketing Strategy Session. In this video, we will cover entire digital marketing strategy for doctors and medical practitioners. So, doctors and medical practitioners, irrespective of any specialized area, whether they are pediatrician or they are uh, any kind of other uh, specialized uh, medical practitioners like uh, the uh, gynecologist or obstetrics or any other uh, their medical uh, specialization field, uh, they need to drive uh, more and more uh, footfalls and more and more bookings to their uh, clinics, uh, to their uh, practice uh, uh, office. So uh, in this digital world, there is a a very uh, tough challenge for driving the uh, quality traffic to your website and then your uh, ultimately your practice uh, office uh, because uh, today in every specialized uh, practice there are a lot of doctors available so uh, within uh, every local area there is a huge competition and every doctors needs a number of full of patients in their calendars every single day so in this entire session of today's i will tell you a step by step guide that how your website should be how your website should look like uh, what are the uh, elements your website should have uh, i would say must have and also uh, how you should plan the SEO, the uh, uh, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, social uh, media marketing, content marketing, email marketing and chatbots. So uh, I'll tell you step by step process uh, for making the right digital marketing investment for your uh, practice uh, office or your, uh, or, or your uh, clinic which you can invest in in the right way and get your calendar filled with the patients every day so let's dig into more details so now let me show you how the doctor website or medical practitioner website should look like so here it, it should be there uh, your logo uh, and the menu should be like this or you can customize it it as well as per your uh, your your uh, or your medical office uh, uh, requirement. So uh, the ideal suggestion uh, is uh, as per uh, this sample website for any medical practitioner or doctor uh, office. So it should be home, about, service, FAQ, uh, blog, and contact. So let me walk you through in each of the pages how it should be designed and how it should be uh, laid out for uh, for better communication you can uh, do with your target audience. So uh, your, t your your potential uh, uh, patient comes to your website. They should feel like uh, you have uh, given them all the information that they need to know uh, about your. Uh, practices about your specialized uh, 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 services as a uh, medical practitioner right so uh, uh, be creative and that uh, pr uh, you you need to communicate uh, to them in a proper way right so uh, so this is the home page as I'm showcasing you this and uh, as you can see there's nice image then we committed to your health so all this can be changed basically right based on your specialized uh, medical areas uh, and then this uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, caption so this can be customized currently we have put all of the information as dummy and then for emergencies call you can put your phone number here you can you can change basically all this images icons buttons as per your as per your logo uh, so you can change complete look and feel of this website this is just a, a sample website for you to 
understand that how a professional website should be designed and look like to communicate better to your potential patients so uh, this is our, uh, about our services so you can put your services so like primary care cardiology pharmaceutical urgent care then newborn care and all other services are there each services can be linked to a separate page here so when someone clicks on it it will go to the uh, learn more pages separate dedicated pages for it so you can mention your services services here which are specific to your specialized practice then uh, here it could be how uh, about your approach how you approach that particular uh, treatments or or uh, services that you offer to your patients then uh, meet our doctor so here uh, you can write a well uh, written a description here so a proper content writing should be there uh, to communicate to your target uh, patients which comes to your website then you can upload your headshot photo here preferably and your name uh, your 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 degree your designation etc and uh, here you can write about yourself in a nutshell and you can give it a link book appointment book appointments book appointment etc so which will lead to a separate page of book appointment where they can fill up the details and it will go to your email or to your CRM which you're using and it will get filled in in your calendar for day-to-day -day appointments right so that is how it should be uh, then uh, the testimonial part so uh, you can put uh, some three or four testimonial of your patient so it can be uh, easily uh, understandable by your target patient that okay there are uh, past patient which are satisfied with your treatment etc then this is the contact form uh, or rather you should say the appointment request form so your health starts here then you can mention your number then you can ask your visitor to fulfill uh, their details uh, with their contact number etc like your full name phone number email address choose a doctor they need uh, uh, appointment with so you can uh, make a drop down here like uh, dr a dr b dr c or no preference uh, so and then reason for visiting you can your visitor can specify and then they click on submit appointment requests it will go to your CRM for the appointments booking then uh, here you can mention your address uh, you can mention your email you can mention your number and then a 24 7 service or whatever services specifically you're providing you can mention it all here so this is about the home page it should uh, preferably we would suggest it should look like this obviously the images the text the color patterns and uh, branding theme all can change based on your specific requirement and your uh, logo or the color theme so now we'll review the about page so when you click on about page uh, it will show you the uh, about page so here you can in this page you can mention about your practice so image the text then uh, you can mention about your uh, clinic and you can again put about the doctors here specifically in this page then about your mission vision etc so what you offer like experienced doctor your unique uh, unique proposition your 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 main specialization or what how you are uh, unique to different uh, uh, providers in the market so that's what you can mention it here whether you provide an insurance facility finance facility so all these things can be mentioned here and also uh, it can be mentioned in the home page as well uh, depending about uh, depending upon how uh, uh, and what kind of uh, 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 options uh, that you're giving to your patients uh, then again the testimonial and uh, the contact uh, section where they can find uh, a link to an appointment the email the phone number and your practice address so this is about the about page now the next is the services so 
in the services page uh, all the services has to be mentioned in the detail way so our medical services you can mention then you can uh, keep a section called primary services and primary care urgent care and all the other services you can mention it here as I mentioned earlier it will link to a dedicated page which will list uh, the uh, complete details of that particular uh, disease or uh, particular services uh, or, or treatment details that how you approach that particular treatment or services which you offer to your patients then uh, you can write other services uh, which you have then again the form to contact you uh, and fill up their uh, request in your in your calendar and then again your contact details so that's how the services page has to be designed then FAQ so in FAQ uh, you have to write all the frequently asked questions which uh, people may have uh, in their mind before they come to you so you can answer those uh, 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 frequently asked questions uh, 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 to your uh, uh, potential visitor who comes uh, to your website so if, if you want to give them uh, a option to ask a question so uh, th when they click on ask a question they can go to contact page directly and they can fill out the form and you can uh, respond to them directly but uh, general question should be covered here uh, mostly so question number one you can write heading here then their answers so you can uh, you can define like what usually the people have in general questions about your practice areas uh, some hesitations it could be or or any other general doubts confusion they might have uh, so uh, since you know your practice well you would be the one who 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 will actually come up with uh, with an uh, ideas on on, on uh, preparing this general question section so you can uh, you can send it to us and our team will write a complete uh, the general question uh, questions and answer both in a professional manner so you can just provide an outline to us and uh, the answers then this is second question then third fourth so likewise it, you can write and then again about our services you can write so in depth uh, it could be and then urgent care so just a nutshell I mean and doc talk to a doctor will again lead to a contact us page Then again here the booking form as you can see and uh, then again the contact section page now if you look at the blog page uh, so in the blog page basically what you can use it for to whatever is the latest happening or um, uh, the uh, the the tips or uh, treatment uh, advice you would like uh, people uh, your target uh, patients to offer you can write all them here on a uh, on a frequently basis like uh, twice or thrice a week you can write and then post in, post it in all across social media and other forums so lot of people will educate about your your medical uh, office or health clinic and then they will come to you so like that you can increase your branding and awareness among your target patient group so this is how the blog section should be designed and uh, there should be a subscribe now button where they can just enter the e enter their email address and then subscribe to it so along with the blog page they will also get the email uh, on a weekly or monthly basis about the latest uh, updates or treatment tips uh, from from your uh, uh, medical practice uh, firm and then all the blogs which uh, will be appearing here so currently there is no result found because uh, no uh, of the blog has been published so as soon as you publish a blog uh, on a week-to-week -week basis this will all copy come 
uh, appearing here and you can just click on it uh, your visitor can read that blog and make a comment on it so like that you can create all sort of engagement then again as I say like subscribe now so join our newsletter then people can enter their email and click on subscribe so you can connect with them on a frequent basis it's again a contact section at the end of uh, at the end of every page so people can have an option to contact you via e via email via via phone and via the uh, walk-ins uh, for the uh, f for the appointments that they book uh, with your medical uh, practice uh, form so so this is how the blog page should be designed now the contact page so so basically how the contact page has to be designed is uh, about uh, the contactors then some uh, some writing here some caption here and then your number then uh, if uh, from contact page also if you want people to uh, direct to frequently ask question then you have an option to do it here so as soon as they click on frequently ask question they'll redirect to fact you page here so like there are multiple ways you can create within your website uh, uh, you want uh, your target patient to go through basically right then uh, you can uh, write about a specific department like for urgent care this is number for primary care this is the number if you if you just run the one specialized medical uh, treatment then uh, instead of writing all this uh, a specific department you can just write yours that uh, this is the number of reception and you should call it call them directly booking or any questions they may have then uh, a contact form you can put it here then people can submit their uh, questions or concerns or anything they would like to ask you then general information again here the uh, address the email and the phone number your Google map you can show it here of your practice where, where exactly you are lo located on the map so that's where you can show it here then uh, and if you want it's not necessary you if you want you can also show the uh, donate or volunteer section on your contact page so if people want they can become a volunteer or give a donation uh, if you want that's okay if you don't want you can hide this section so it won't appear in your website then uh, again the contact uh, section at as you've seen on every page so basically that's how your website should be designed all of all the pages if you want you can remove some of those pages if you want you can add some of the pages depending upon uh, your specific uh, uh, your specific uh, practice uh, uh, areas right then another thing which you have to keep in mind while designing uh, the the website for doctors or medical practitioner is is have a secure website so as you can see uh, this website is completely secure and uh, uh, you you can see uh, that on every browser uh, browser bar where you type the URL uh, of of particular website that should turn into green so if that turns into green that means uh, the website is completely secure so that is also another thing you have to keep that in mind the next thing is uh, we have is is the Facebook messenger uh, automated chat so what it does is that uh, it shows the icon like this as you can see on the right hand side of browser so it's a it's a Facebook messenger uh, live chat icon and it, it's automated it does not require any human intervention it's it's all automated it's it's like uh, it's work like a chatbot or or you can say it's a chatbot in it itself so what it does is like uh, when you click on it uh, it it opens the pop up and you can chat with that so this is the uh, sample uh, 
Facebook Messenger live chat chatbot that we have made for for a dummy purpose which will which will send the message automatically uh, to the person uh, when you click on it it will say hi uh, uh, hi so and so and because it will connect to, with your Facebook account so so rather than uh, making any uh, person sitting on your uh, on your desk and chatting with your each and every uh, visitor you can automate everything so whenever it comes they comes to you all the frequently asked questions or your contact address or whatever uh, uh, usually visitor ask in the live chat you can all automate all these things so if I type hi it, an automated response would come and it say thanks choose the platform if you know so uh, as I said it's a it's a dummy so uh, when you click on let's say WordPress right so uh, where is your site hosted right so if I say uh, go daddy then it will say in another response so it says please describe the updates you're needing so I'd say I need a small uh, change to my change to my website so it says awesome uh, now I just uh, need your email address so if I can if I if you type the email address it will say number then it, and all in all it will just keep on uh, doing it right so as you're saying it, it is sending you uh, this automated uh, live chatbot using Facebook messenger is sending you an automated messages uh, in uh, in your uh, messenger itself so uh, it's very important that you automate everything and uh, uh, the uh, chatbot will respond to your uh, potential visitor which uh, are coming to your website so you can collect the email you can connect the number you can give them about uh, information about your website so everything can be automated without the human intervention so now uh, once you made the uh, website design and then this uh, Facebook Messenger live chat uh, in an automated manner on your website which will answer and interact with your website visitor on a frequent basis uh, then it is time to do the local SEO and the my business listing so uh, let's say for the local SEO if someone uh, goes to Google and search for let's say uh, ENT uh, in London right so ENT in London or or any specific city or, uh, or, or, or local area worldwide uh, where you are practicing so it could be London it could be uh, it could be any city uh, basically it could be New York it could be uh, it could be uh, Sydney or it could be Dubai or any specific country uh, country cities you are practicing so uh, so suppose you are in ENT and uh, if, if people comes to Google and search for ENT in London then uh, you have to have the appearance here in the Google local SEO search box so as you can see there are three listings that London ENT clinic ENT London and then Daniel Turi consultant ENT, ENT surgeon London if you click on more places there are there are a lot of people who are listed as ENT specialist in London uh, and if you go back to Google and search for let's say pediatrician so pediatrician in San Diego then pediatrician in San Diego will come up in the Google local SEO search box as you can see on my screen right so uh, people can actually uh, ask for direction can go to your website or can call you if they are on on, on the mobile devices right so uh, this is how the the local SEO works and it is important to 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 make your uh, health clinic or your medical practice practice uh, office uh, to visible in the Google uh, SEO box uh, so uh, these are the search uh, terms which are likely to get triggered if you search just pediat 
pediatric uh, near me so there are search terms uh, called near me like uh, uh, ENT near me or pediatric near me or gynecologist near me right so if people search near me also that means they are in that specific city or area searching for pediatrician right so then also your listing should appear here in the local search box so it is important that you should do the local SEO as well to to see these kind of results then uh, next is the Google my business listing so if people type let's say your name uh, let's say Cosmo dental clinic in the Google so when they go to Google and they type Cosmo Dental Clinic and hit the Google search button they would they should see the Google my business listing which appears like this on the right hand side of your browser so uh, they can uh, also type your clinic name so they should see the photos the the map location where your clinic is located the clinic name the direction the reviews which people have left to so people might check the reviews as well so it is important to have the uh, good number of reviews for your medical practice office uh, then your address the house phone numbers and, and 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 the reviews appears here the top reviews etc etc so that's how the google my business listing shows up on on the google so it is important that you should have uh, both the things uh, done for for your uh, uh, doctor uh, uh, office uh, that uh, local SEO and also uh, the uh, Google My Business listing because it really helps uh, you to you to get good amount of uh, bookings and footfalls uh, in your uh, doctor office uh, or your medical practitioner uh, office where you treat uh, patients then the uh, next is the Google uh, uh, search ads which we call it as digital marketing right like doing a digital marketing in Facebook in Google and in Instagram like that so in Google uh, there is an op option to uh, target this specific uh, keywords in that specific reason so anyone comes to Google and search for let's say orthopedic surgeon Miami then the ad comes up on a very top and it gives the information about your website the call button or they can just click on it and visit the website so uh, you can also include the Google Ads or Facebook Ads as well which appears like this and Facebook Ads appears like this uh, uh, the, this is the ad copy basically the image uh, it's a pen management uh, uh, doctor office in uh, Brooksville and uh, as you can read out in the in the image that it says like do you need a pain management or pain management doctor in Brooksville Florida specializes in treating most types of pain including back pain joint pain and other type of pain so if you run such kind of ads in Facebook and Instagram there it is also an another possibility of getting higher number of uh, uh, of, of patients coming in your uh, doctor office uh, or, or or people calling you and booking an appointment uh, with your office uh, in the reception so uh, such kind of ads uh, really works for every doctor uh, office and medical practitioners so you should really look at those things as well uh, the next is the social media marketing uh, and the content marketing right so social media marketing you can set up the uh, accounts on Instagram on on Facebook on uh, on Twitter so so these are the major uh, platform uh, uh, works for any uh, dental or medical practitioners so you can set up a good uh, uh, image of your uh, your dental uh, or your doctor office and uh, uh, people can leave your reviews you can update your uh, team photos or your your uh, your practice photos your uh, you can engage them with uh, with with your target uh, patients right so all these things things you can do you can actually do the content marketing like 
you can write a blog uh, articles or PR on different website and then drag them to your website plus post it on your social media so let people know about you let people know about your specialization what you do and your unique approach to towards the specific treatments that you offer so let people uh, learn about more about you through social media marketing and content marketing so you have to really link up in a very effective manner to make it really work right so uh, so yeah this is how you you need to uh, do the social media marketing and content marketing uh, in a really effective manner and 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 try to engage them try to engage them in in the conversation on the uh, across the social media uh, platforms that you that you that you set up for your de uh, for your doctor office so uh, this is how it should be done uh, and then and then another thing which i would suggest is like uh, email marketing and uh, 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 chatbot funnel marketing which which is like is sending uh, 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 at least a monthly newsletter to your uh, patients that okay these are the updates happening uh, in your uh, doctor office and uh, uh, some do's and don'ts uh, of of uh, specific treatments that you're offering so so people would aware uh, on a more frequent basis so your branding and your marketing will always always activate it so whenever people uh, will have a need uh, of the treatment uh, uh, services that you offer uh, will come to you definitely right so email marketing is also important part of this and then the chatbot uh, funnel marketing right so uh, as i shown you in on the website uh, that uh, people can chat with you similarly when uh, when people are when people are in your messenger already you can actually broadcast all the uh, all the latest uh, do's and don'ts of the uh, treatment uh, services that you offer right in the messenger so people will be connected with with you on the messenger also so it's really important to engage uh, your target uh, uh, patients across all the platform so they don't forget you when when they are in really need of you of your patient uh, i mean of your uh, treatment uh, uh, services that you offer right so uh, these are the things that uh, will make uh, the 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 proper uh, digital marketing strategy for any doctor or medical practitioner across the world now let me uh, take you to our website which is uh, ontapgrowth.com uh, and when you visit this website you and you need to click on my digital business which is our product to help you help you and uh, with this my digital business product we we enable uh, the medical practitioners to build a professional business website get them found and get more customers online so this is how the product work i'll definitely share this link uh, in uh, in the description of this video below so you can have a look at it uh, there are different pricing plans that we offer to help you so there is a basic plan called growth basic which is at $499 per year which comes up with custom domain and hosting preferably .com a business website uh, which I shown you uh, which will be modified and customized according to your needs with a content writing of course so you just need to give us an outline and then we'll, we'll do the rest and local SEO and Google My Business listing, as I explained you, and Facebook Messenger Live Chat, uh, that also I shown you. Then website management app. So what's basically website management app is a backend of your website where you can easily manage, uh, edit, add more contents or edit any images, videos, etc. Uh, from a single click. Uh, like it, 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 it's easy as. Uh, uh, updating your Facebook profile or your uh, 
your Twitter profile or your Instagram profile. So all our website that we deliver to our clients are our, our, our contain management website where we give the uh, backend control panel to manage the website seamlessly and uh, you don't need any coding knowledge to do that you can just simplify click drag and drop and make changes to your website then the live website analytics so in the back end of the uh, website you can also see how many visitors are coming to your website how much time they are staying on your website which all pages they are browsing which from vi which all cities or location they are coming in so all these things you'll get in, in the back end so this is what we'll offer in the first plan which is growth basic second plan we offer the same thing plus plus we offer the digital marketing worth of dollar 1200 facebook and google ad spend so so every year we charge like one triple nine dollar per year and out of that we spend twelve hundred dollars every year on facebook google and instagram to run the ads for you to generate a leads and 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 patients booking for you and, and in rest $800 we spend on maintaining the local SEO listings, uh, renewing your hosting domain and then uh, uh, making any changes uh, or adding new uh, pages or design on your website as and when required. And then we have another plan which is like growth custom so you can ask for pricing if you need more information where we offer the ads on multiple uh, platform like LinkedIn being ads but this plan may not require for you at the moment right and then we also offer social media marketing content marketing so if you just need social media content marketing then also you can contact us or email marketing then also you can just get in touch with us here so whichever plan you need at the moment you can get in touch with our team and we'll definitely help you out to deliver uh, within five to seven working days uh, a complete deliverables and you 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 just start your complete online identity and generating a a, a patient's uh, booking uh, after seven days once uh, everything gets done right so so these are the things that uh, we we offer to to our uh, doctors and medical practitioner clients uh, as a part of uh, our uh, our product called uh, my digital uh, business and uh, uh, we, we we almost uh, help all types of businesses as you can read out in this page itself like doctor medical pra practitioner which is you and accountant construction company car dealer real estate restaurant and there are a couple of uh, uh, more and more that we keep adding out uh, it on our website which you can just click on view all and, and and see it i hope you must have received tons of information on how you can grow your doctor office so please do get in touch with us if you want to drive more and more bookings on a daily basis for your specialized doctor clinic the link is below in the description of this video and you can get in touch with us and our team will help you out as soon as possible if you have any questions you can ask them before getting into the service contract you can also let me know in the comments below how you would like to grow your doctor office what are the strategies you would like to implement i would love to hear from you please subscribe to this channel for keep getting such amazing informational videos about digital marketing and digital technologies i look forward to see you in the next digital marketing strategy session next week until then thank you so much